Pregnant Kate reveals her joy at royal engagement as she steps out in London just hours after Meghan hailed her future sister-in-law as amazing. The Duchess of Cambridge said she's absolutely thrilled for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as she stepped out in London a day after her brother-in-law's engagement announcement. The pregnant mother of two displayed her neat baby bump in a figure skimming Kate's paid dress, which she offset with burgundy accessories as she arrived at the Foundling Museum in London. Discussing Monday's happy news, the Duchess said, William and I are absolutely thrilled. It's such exciting news. It's a really happy time for any couple and we wish them all the best and hope they enjoy this happy moment. Her appearance comes just hours after Meghan Markle hailed her wonderful. Miss Markle said the Duchess of Cambridge had been wonderful to her, while Harry said both William and Kate had been amazing. Harry talked about how he kept the relationship secret before introducing Miss Markle to his brother and sister-in-law. It was exciting, I mean I've, you know, I'd been seeing her for a period of time when I literally didn't tell anybody at all and then William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine, so you know, being our neighbours, we managed to get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now, and Catherine has been absolutely amazing, as has William, as well, you know, fantastic support. The family together have been absolutely, you know, a solid support, and my grandparents as well have been, have been wonderful throughout this whole process, and they've known for quite some time, he said. The Duchess of Cambridge was today at the Foundlings Hospital, the Uke's first children's charity and first public art gallery where she learned more about the museum's history and the way it continues to focus on its founding principles to use art and creativity as a means to support and engage children and vulnerable families. During her visit, Kate received a briefing on the history of the hospital and how the museum continues to engage vulnerable and marginalized young people. The 35-year-old met families and children who have benefited from the museum's education and outreach programs, including preschool children from a local nursery who regularly visit the museum and young care leavers who are being trained to run their own creative workshops. The Foundling Museum explores the history of the Foundling Hospital, the Uke's first children's charity and first public art gallery. The Foundling Hospital, which continues today as the Children's Charity Quorum, was established in 1739 by the philanthropist Thomas Quorum to care for babies at risk of abandonment. After 17 years of tireless campaigning, Thomas Quorum finally received a royal charter from King George II in 1739, enabling him to establish his Foundling Hospital. From 1741 when the first babies were admitted, to 1954 when the last pupil was placed in foster care, the Foundling Hospital cared for and educated around 25,000 children. Instrumental in helping Coram realize his vision was the artist William Hogarth, who encouraged leading artists of the day to donate work, and George Friedrich Handel, who conducted annual benefit concerts in the hospital's chapel. Their creative generosity set the template for the ways in which the arts can support philanthropy. Today artists continue to be central to the Foundling Museum's work. Through a dynamic program of exhibitions and events the museum celebrates the ways in which the arts have helped improve children's lives for over 275 years and aims to inspire everyone to make a positive contribution to society. Her visit comes after Harry, 33, and Miss Markle, 36, appeared at a photo call at Kensington Palace in London yesterday. Fifth in line to the throne Harry has been dating the American actress who found fame in the US legal drama suits since the summer of last year. Their 16-month whirlwind romance blossomed when they met through mutual friends in London, and the pair have been almost inseparable in recent months. The couple will live together in Harry's current home, Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace, and Miss Markle will become an H.R.H. and a senior royal. She is expected to become a duchess, just like Kate Middleton did when she became the Duchess of Cambridge after saying her vows in 2011. 
Miss Markle will most probably become H. -O H. the Duchess of Sussex if Harry is made the Duke of Sussex by the Queen on the morning of his wedding. The pair were secretly engaged earlier this month and Harry took Miss Markle to meet his grandmother the Queen for tea at Buckingham Palace in October. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were the surprise stars of Friday night's royal variety performance show when Will was cajoled into taking part in a comedy sketch by the show's host, Miranda Hart. Kate burst into fits of giggles when the Duke gamely took part in a comedy skit, obligingly shouting the catchphrase, such fun whenever Hart requested him to from the stage at the London Palladium. Sitting in the royal box under a spotlight, the Duke performed his part enthusiastically while the Duchess dissolved into fits of laughter. Hart said that compelling Prince William to participate in the show was on her to-do list for the royal variety duties. Kate, who is four months pregnant with the couple's third child, looked stunning in a bespoke Jenny Packham crystal embellished full-length blue gown. After their unexpected participation in the show, the couple enjoyed performances by Palima Faith, The Killers, Louis Tomlinson, Seal and the Script, at the London Palladium.